with another video review. And boy, do we have a big one. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Ultimate Class Optimus Prime. Obviously, in the new Beast Hunter motif, and uh, he's big, uh, huge, massive. I mean, you can see how big this box is. Now this is a, a Canadian packaging, as the only way that I could actually get him was to find find a place in Canada that was selling them, and somebody was able to actually pick this up and send it out to me. So the, the American packaging will be a little bit different, but basically this is what you're looking at. You got the open window package here, showing Optimus Prime here in his robot mode. You got a nice image. I really like that image of his new truck. That's really cool looking. Uh, it says he's got a dragon assault truck mode, all right. And then you got a big image of Predaking here. Now this is the first of the new Ultimate figures that we're getting from the Beast Hunters line, this one, and then the next one being Predaking. And the Ultimate class is kind of like their new leader class, I guess. You got a Try Me thing right here where you push it down and his chest and his eyes light up. Come around here on the side, you got a really cool image of Optimus Prime. I really like that. You got his uh, technical data and all that come around here to the very back and then he's got some weird spinning cannon thing I don't know what it is uh, but he does come with a, a a dragon hunting sword he's got his light up windshield rapid fire missiles uh all that kind of stuff you got the missiles here on the side actually which is really kind of very cool and then you got a little bit of a read up here and uh i don't know if you can actually see that but it says outfitted with the supreme power of the fire breath cyclo cannons optimus prime becomes a whirlwind of righteous devastation from which even predaking can hide oh sorry from which not even predakings can hide so maybe i should learn how to read before i actually read stuff to you guys but uh, there's the packaging. He he actually looks very simplistic. It doesn't look like there's a lot going on with him. So I'm kind of curious to see what we're going to have. But let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys. So here we have the Ultimate Class Optimus Prime opened up and out of its packaging. And obviously he's in his... Uh, truck mode now we'll get to this here in a little bit but we got the instructions and despite the fact that uh, it, it has different languages on here we do have the tales of the beast hunters which we're going to take a look at right now and it says with ultra magnus the latest casualty of the predacon assault optimus prime decides that enough is enough whether the new weaponry discovered by bumblebee is ready or not the predacons must be stopped donning the heavy fire breath cyclo cannons optimus prime steps out Outside into the hot desert air determined to find Predaking and bring him down one way or another. He doesn't have far to look. The Predacon leader has come looking for him, armed to the teeth and ready to destroy every last Autobot. That's when Optimus Prime receives a transmission from, from Autobot Ratchet. Sir, says the scientist, I figured out how to activate our new weaponry, sending the information to you now. Within moments, the Autobot leader feels power flowing through him, and he knows, even before it begins, that the fight against Predaking can only end in victory. And you see it continues with Chapter 18, The Beast Fire Predaking, which is sold separately. Now, as for the figure, uh, sometimes... I really have to figure out what I'm going to say. Sometimes it, it really seems as if Hasbro really does make these toys just for kids. Now, I know they're toys, so that kind of sounds funny to even bother saying. But sometimes just it it's like they don't even care about like the 30% of adult collectors out there. This is just a toy for kids. Now, you can see... <laughs> It is really big, uh, a very large figure. And as you can see, you got his sword on this side, and then you have this thing, his shield, attached on the other side. Now, we'll get to all of his accessories and, and, and the gimmick and everything here in a little bit, but I want to do a size comparison. So, for a size comparison, um, the, well, here he is. And here's the Voyager version. Um, yeah, this is... Insane. I mean, absolutely insane in terms of the size difference. Now, this is a much better scaled figure. This is what I'm keeping in my display. This goes much better with all the other figures itself. This guy, I don't even know where to put him um, other than probably in storage or something. Because I, I, I don't even know. It's, it's, it's a toy i mean that's all i can really think of it really is a child's toy now uh 
Starting off for first, I mean, I, he's got this handle here, which is used to access the gimmick. You rotate it around, and you bring it around, and then you push down this button. I'm going to angle up so you can see it. So you bring it around, it rotates, and it shoots the missile. You do that again, and then sometimes it doesn't even line up well. It shoots the missile. Again. Shoots the missile. Again. Shoots the missile. Again shoots the missile. So you shot all the missiles and they're all basically different. You got this little claw thing, you got a little fire blast, another fire blast, a, well another round thing and then a three prong thing. So that's that. He, he doesn't have the wings so that's already weird but the, the, so the sheer size really is very kiddish to me and with this handle on here it reminds me basically of a lunchbox. And that's what I basically have dubbed this, Lunchbox Prime, because it, it's like a lunchbox. You got a big lunchbox handle, it's a big lunchbox shape, it's blah. Now, this <laughs> covers up that. All these giant holes, I mean, you got all these gaps through everything. This is just so ugly. It, it, it's just ridiculously ugly. And then you take off this... And, uh, again, it's the same side thing. Now, the transformation is really very similar to the Voyager one. There's not a lot that's different. But when you're paying, like, $60, because I believe this one goes for $60, and I think Predaking goes for $70. Or maybe they're both $60. But th if this is the new kind of leader class thing, and I shouldn't say leader class because it's ultimate class. Leader class kind of has a lot more detail and things put into it. But you're paying the same. So it's very stupid now kids are gonna love this i i think that the kids this being marketed towards kids kids are gonna like it because it's a big toy you can have a lot of fun with it you got the giant rotating missile thing and it's optimus prime so i think kids are really gonna like this but collectors are not gonna want this it, i just don't think it's appealing at all now like i said he does have a, a big giant sword hacksaw thingamajigger and then a shield that kind of looks like the head of Predaking anyhow so all right we're gonna set this off to the side now like I said transformation is very similar to the Voyager one now first what you want to do come around here and loosen this gigantic mess up oh, or pull it off and that just that just tabs in there and I, I do have some problems which way does that go like this uh, I do have some problems that I do want to uh, focus on here uh, because there is a big quality control issue I think you're going to separate that you're going to rotate this down and around do that on this side as well you can rotate that down and around and these just now tuck up underneath there and that's really it now like i said there are some serious quality control issues that i think that this figure is going to have for everybody not just mine so first you want to untab this just kind of flop that up these little tabs that attach to the arms you can see, are already stressing. I, I've transformed this twice, and these plastic bits here are already stressing, and you can see, removing it, I'm gonna zoom in, you can already see that that's already stressed from putting this in there, and potentially maybe it wiggling when it shouldn't. Now, I mean, you're obviously not gonna sit there and wiggle it when it's inside like that, but that shouldn't happen so it's like the pegs are too long and i don't know if it's doing on this side is it doing it on this side now it doesn't really appear to be doing it on that side yet but i'm definitely concerned about the longevity of these tabs they are not something i think that are actually gonna last especially like i said since you're paying 60 dollars for this toy so then you just rotate that around you're going to straighten these out separate these here and then again you got the same kind of long tabs in here that tab this together and then he becomes very back heavy at this point but you can also see he's also very tall at this point so straightening that up and coming up here to the top you're going to take these you're going to rotate these around these are going to push inside there bring that down rotate that down kind of angle that up you know however you really want to do that on this side peg that in rotate that around Bring that around like so get a fingernail inside there you're going to bring that back and then 
kind of tab it into place, revealing his head. And then you got this big giant stupid thing, which now you have a little hole right inside there that you're gonna plug that into. So, boom. And now, now you have, um, uh, again, very big and just looking really weird like he's got a Stargate thing on his back. I mean, that's just worse than the, worse than the, than the wings that he had. And you can see, again, the same gimmick applies, but when you rotate it around this time, the actual heads kind of point down, and then you shoot them. You got the, get that lined up, you got the same button that you push there to shoot it. Boom. Or, if you want to, and every time you rotate it around, you can kind of see his chest and his eyes light up. Or if you don't want to do that, you can push this. And that will automatically do it. Now, you can't do that when he's in his vehicle mode because this is blocked. You got, like, junk down here that prevents you from actually lowering it. So that replaces the spinning thing here. I, I mean... Uh, like I said, I really think kids are, are going to like this. That they're the only ones I really think that are going to like it. But you can see, like, I mean, he's so big that he he does become very back heavy, and these things don't really help support his weight all that much back here. So uh, you you gotta kind of have to chicken leg him like like so. But you can see it really pulls back on his weight. So. You really have to kind of angle it. I mean, you can get him to stand, and it's not too bad, but it's also not entirely straight up and down. But uh, there you have him in his robot mode. Now, his robot mode is definitely an improvement over the really ugly vehicle mode that he has. But you can still see that the big problem is the size between this guy and Voyager Optimus. I mean, this is just... Fee fi fo fum big and really I other than kids and I've said that several times already uh, other than kids wanting this because it, it's a big Optimus Prime I really don't see much of an appeal for this particular figure especially at the $60 price point save your money and buy this guy the, I don't even want to say that one of the gimmicks is his size. I I guess technically you could say that, but the the big the biggest thing is is this thing's uh, function here in the back. And again, you can push this, and all you gotta do you gotta take this little gun missile thing, plug it in there, just like so, and you can't see anything. I'll angle up. So you rotate it around. You get this locked into position. Then you push this button. And, and, and it actually goes up and shoots. It shoots pretty far. I have no idea where that thing went. But uh, there, there's just bleh. there's just nothing, in, in my opinion, really appealing about this. Unless you want to pretend that while you're if you, if you're a kid and you're playing with your figures, if Optimus Prime drank some kind of growth serum that made him twice the size of Megatron. Uh, I also really dislike the fact that the Autobot logo is green. I mean, I get that it matches with this, but that's just really ugly. Now, for his articulation, the head will go about that far. Um, I don't think you can do it all the way because you got the the light up gimmick inside there So that's kind of stuck there the shoulders move forward and back and back heavy The uh, if you get this out of the way it moves in and out He rotates at the bicep that comes out. He bends here at the elbow a very stiff joint uh, The wrists look like they could rotate and they actually do wiggle a little but you can't rotate them all the way around so that kind of sucks the waist rotates but then you get a very ugly kind of split torso look thing which it's it's ugly it only rotates for the transformation the hips move forward and back they move in and out they rotate at the upper part of the knee they bend at the knee uh, nothing at the foot which really would kind of help stabilize them a little bit more but I mean you're not getting a lot of poses with this guy because the back is a fairly heavy piece. Now, uh, like I said, he does come with his his sword, which is actually really very cool. It's got a really nice. Uh, it's it's really hard to see, but you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a dragon uh, tip here, which is really very cool. And then you got all this other stuff throughout it, and you just 
peg that down into his hand so you have that and then you can pull out his giant uh, Predacon shield and put that in there and now you have your really goofy Optimus Prime ready to go and as I said Robot mode is probably the, the most appealing looking of the two modes. The, the vehicle mode is just really terrible. And the transformation, while it's the same as the Voyager, for a $60 figure, it shouldn't be the same. It should be much more involved than it really isn't. The only thing that's really different is the, how the, the wheels go into his legs instead of coming up and filling into his back. But, it, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... I'm, you know, me as a collector, that's probably why I'm not enjoying this. If you got a kid to review this, maybe I should hire a kid to review this. He might really like it, and I, I do think that kids will like it. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's definitely not a collector sort of thing. So now to transform them back, we're going to just straighten this. You're going to rotate these around like so. You come around to the back, you untab that, take his head and push this down and uh, that's another thing that I don't particularly like I don't like how this cover piece is oh that is really stiff to get in there get his head down there there we go I, I don't like how that's a different color than the red on here at least the Voyager one when you flipped it in the, the back cover piece was red so uh, another advantage if, uh, for getting the the Voyager figure and then you just take this rotate these around like so do that as well on that side then just kind of straighten these out bring this down and you got two little holes you got one here 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 and here we actually got four and you got four tabs here 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 and here just line those up and those lock his uh, arms into the giant dragon shooting thing here rotate that bit around bring the legs together and again you tab these together right here bring this all the way down and again you want to be very careful with this you it, it's it's really making me nervous but um honestly i don't care so much about this figure so peg that in like so and get that lined up peg that in like so and then just take these wheels Rotate these out, swivel this bit out, rotate this bit around, bring that up, do that on this side as well, rotate that out, rotate it around, bring it up, and then you actually have little tabs here. You got a little hole here, and then there's a tab on the inside right, to, right here that you bring that up, and you line that up and push that in. Do that on both sides, and then you bring these two front halves lock that together and here you have him back in his his truck mode now you do technically have one more step you want to take this and this is going to come up here and peg in there i guess it doesn't matter which side you put it in I, i'm just doing it on that side because it kind of looks like it flows that way and then you come around to this side and i really do wish that he came with two of those swords because this is just really stupid here on the side i mean you can't even put it up like that because now these bits can't go around you have to keep it down like so so you got this big giant thing here and i mean that looks a little bit better on the side that does, i don't mind nearly as much i mean you still have the giant gaping holes everywhere but that just looks really ridiculous and like i said this is where you can see that you can't lower this because these bits right up here kind of come up and lock that into place but here you have them now like i said and I've, I've reiterated this throughout the entire video and it's becoming redundant probably to you guys kids i think are gonna like this uh it's got this big giant size thing going for it which really kind of works uh, for playing around and things like that you got a nice gimmick incorporated you got the handle so you can carry this guy around i guess he doesn't come with a thermos so i guess it's not really a lunch pail um but this is just really ugly if you ask me really very ugly I, I hate this thing here this side looks a little bit better but it, it's it's still not a very good vehicle mode now the transformation is almost identical like i said to the voyager one but for the price that you're paying for with this 
it shouldn't be. It should be a lot more involved and much more in line with leader kind of figures. The Ultimate Class is definitely not at the, the same prestige level of a leader figure at all. And then the robot mode, while it's probably the best looking because he's so big, it really ruins it. So all that being said, it, th th there's two different recommendations that I'm giving. If you're a kid, pick him up. You'll probably enjoy him a lot. But as a collector, I don't see a lot of collectors really wanting this. I mean, it's it, it's just way too gaudy. That That's all I can really think of. Just gaudy. So, uh, there you have it. There's your look at the new Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Ultimate Class Optimus Prime. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomus. Keep in touch with me. Find our recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at facebook.com slash teambotomus and follow me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash optobotomous. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.